Welcome STAT students. We're going to grade the 2022 question number four free response. It is about um, a random sample of 920 teenagers and they were asked about how often they use video streaming services. And they tell us that 59% of that particular sample answered that they used it every day. So I have one sample. I have a ratio proportion percent about that one sample and that's some important information for me. A says construct and interpret a 95% confidence interval. And look at that, it says for the proportion of, and then all of that stuff right there is the stuff that you're gonna put in your answer so that you have the proper context. So we're looking to find an interval to answer the question, where's the P? Where is the true population proportion of teens who use streaming every day? So we know we're gonna be doing a one proportion Z interval. The AP divided this into four sections and each section got an E, a P, or an I. And I'm gonna divide it up into those four sections too. The first section only has two check marks. We're looking for anywhere in there, part A, did they say that they're gonna be using a one proportion Z interval? If you did, go ahead and put a check mark right here. My person said we're using a one proportion Z interval. That is the first check. The other thing you need to look for that the AP was looking for for the first component um, is that did they also say that they were trying to find the true population proportion? So it doesn't say it up here. So go look anywhere you can. Did you write in your interpretation true population proportion? Okay. If they did that and there's context of teens in the US who respond that they use video streaming every day. That means that is the second check. So for the first section that the AP was looking for to give an E, a P, or an I, two things, and this particular paper has for section number one, two out of two. There are only two things that we're looking for there. The next section, there are four things that we're looking for, and they are mostly in the conditions. Let's check out the conditions. I'm gonna change color, all right? So in the conditions, they're looking for, first of all, is did that they mentioned that in the conditions, the problem stated that this was a random sample. If you said there was a random sample done, give them a check mark, okay? Give yourself a check mark. You also have to make sure you indicated that 920 teens is less than 10% of all teens, second check mark. You also have to have checked NP hat and NQ hat, both have to be greater than or equal to 10. Remember, we don't know what P is, remember, Where's the P? We don't know the true population proportion of teens that stream video. We don't know. So that means in suck fail, what we're looking for first is that, is the NP hat and NQ hat there? Did they show substitution into the formula? And do they calculate a product 542.8 and 377.2 and in comparison to 10? If all that is there, that is the third check mark, the third component that we're looking for. And there's one more thing that is in section two for the AP. And that is, did they calculate the correct interval? And the correct interval needs to be from 0.55844, or about that, comma 0.622, but it should be pretty close. And that right there is the fourth thing they're looking for in section number two. All four things. When the actual interval, that's how they're going to get the next sections E by having all four out of those four check marks included. All right, so now we're moving on to section number three. Section number three is all about the interpretation. And so the interpretation, did you say that you are 95% confident? All right, I'm going to change color here. If you did, that is going to be your first check mark is reflecting the confidence level that, that you were told to use. Um, did you include, okay, the true population proportion of, of teens in the U.S. who respond that they use video streaming service every day? So that means it has to have true population proportion again, and then that means they also need to make sure that they have context right here. Now, remember, the safest thing to include um, for context is if you copy it directly from the question. So that context is, context is there. That gives you the next check on section number three. 
And that the last thing, did you have the interval written down that reflects your answer from the previous section, the 0.55844 to 0.622? If you reflected that interval, whether you got it right or wrong, if you did it correctly here, that is going to be the third check for section number three. So this paper did have all three checks, all right? Now, one thing that I learned that on this question, this was last year's question on inference, that if you talked about a true population proportion, the preference was that the graders wanted to see it written as a proportion. Um, I have it both ways just to be safe, all right? So either way, I know I'm gonna get the right answer. Um, so now let's move on to section number four. With all right, so moving on, the last part B is section four, all right? And part B says that based on the competence interval, so that means we're using the interval we just calculated, do we have evidence? Usually when you see the word evidence, and I'm gonna go ahead and say evidence, usually we're gonna go ahead and do a test, which means we're gonna have a ho and a ha. But we're not gonna do that here because it says use, and base it on your interval. So don't go ahead and do a test right here. Use the interval and make a decision. And they wanna see something about that it is not 0.5. So that's the key number you're gonna to check to see if it's inside or outside of your interval. Now our interval here is from 0.55844 to 0.622, all right? So 0.5 is outside of this interval. That means that Based on this interval, it is not plausible, all right? So in my answer, I talked about that 0.5 is not a plausible value for that proportion, okay? And that we do have evidence that, okay, it is um, not 0.5, essentially. There's a lot of double negatives here. It's a little bit confusing. So what the AP um, was looking for is that making sure that you talked about that it's not plausible, or that we do have evidence that it's not 0.5, and by also illustrating that 0.5 is not inside of my interval, all right? So since 0 .5, 0 0.5 is not plausible um, for the proportion of all teens in the U.S. respond that they video stream because it is not in the interval, all right? So that right there is the second check. So two checks right here for saying make sure making sure you say it's not in the interval, that it's not plausible, and that means we do have evidence that it's not. It's only worth two. So that means overall in this problem there are eleven check marks right here. Um, that means that in this case um, this person got eleven out of eleven. So make sure you put that on your paper, put a box around it. And now we have finished grading our inference question from the year 2022. Thanks so much. See you next time.